I'm Rob Chapa. And I am in standby mode. So is Rob, <laughs> and I'm the captain. <laughs> but and not the only captain. No. Apparently, when Lee was flying back from the NAM show in California, yes. a real captain on his actual plane, whose name was Lee, yes. as if some bizarre parallel universe came to greet him. He did. He said, he said and this was the exact words, and, you know, to make me feel special, he said, I always look down the passenger manifest to see if there's anybody interesting on board, <laughs> and I saw your name, and I'm a fan of the show, and <clears throat> so he came out and said, he literally, and he, he said, I would have invited you up to first class, but it's full, I'm afraid. I'm like, oh, damn it. Oh, so, mate. so if you're watching Captain Lee, the other Captain Lee, the real Captain Lee, thank you very much. Uh, let me know what flights you're on next, uh, and I'll book a cheap flight on that, and then you can upgrade me to first class. And, you know, <laughs> I don't care where we go then. You probably ought to <laughs> offer him something in return. I uh, have a plectrum. Yes. I, that was the world's worst it was, throw of well, a plectrum it was, ever. It wasn't the greatest throw of all no. time, but it wasn't but that I, bad. But I, but I got another one. Good. <laughs> Crack on. Lee. Yes. What do we have today to demonstrate for these wonderful viewers? Well, uh, last year, one of the most stellar amplifiers that we reviewed all year was the, the McCartney uh, sausage. Exactly. Uh, yeah. The McCartney sausage. Um, was a reissue of an amplifier that Marshall released in 1987. Which wasn't that the name of the epic Whitesnake album as well? Or was that was that a book by George Orwell? No, that was 1984. <laughs> Great book, by the way. It's uh, very relevant, very forward-thinking guy. I love me some book learning. Um, and uh, anyway, <laughs> so to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Marshall, way back in 1987, they released the Jubilee, which kind of was a silver, uh, sort of hot-rodded JCM 800. And they also did, I'm fairly sure at the time, like a combo version of that. However, mm. what they never did, just to clarify this, was they never did these the first time around. These are, these are new uh, for 2016. Wow. Uh, and they are like baby versions of it. So from what I understand, it's the same preamp that you get on the Daddy, but with a, a smaller power amplifier that can be switched from between 25 watts and 50 watts using a pair of EL34. They are reassuringly Marshall loud. Marshall renowned for making amplifiers that fit the way guitar players used to work when they had to play massive venues and the only way you got to hear the guitar was through the guitar amplifier. Yeah. They yeah, they've got that they've got that kind of kick in the balls kind of thing that Marshall just... <laughs> So we thought we'd grab a selection of guitars. We've got a sort of a single cut, two humbucker guitar. We've got something from Gretsch <coughs> with um, a Filtertron and a Super That's the G. beef machine, man. Uh, we've got a, a Chapman ML3 to give us some sort of T-type action. I went a bit nuts and thought we'd get a shred machine, so I've got this beautiful Steve So chair. we're gonna try and cover a few of the bases just to give you an idea. Wait, Lee, let's get a, um, a snapshot so that we can use it for the beginning of this video. Hang on, just get my plectrum out of my mouth. I can't hold this fake surprise okay, for much longer. <laughs> it's just so gay. That was my that was my blue steel look. Um, did you like it? <laughs> that, that, was, that was my blue steel. Blue steel, was he the guy that flew the helicopter and his, his wife uh, died of um, dehydration in the desert? I think it might have been, but it was the look that uh, was in Zoom. It, it wasn't blue steel even slightly. Was it blue thunder? Blue thunder, mate. Blue thunder. Blue thunder. That's a different look. Do you want to see my blue thunder look? Yes. <laughs> Was that his wife? Yeah. <laughs> um, 
So we've got here a really, really simple uh, panel layout, basically. Can so I say one negative thing about the, the panel? Yes. Because uh, we've got to bring a balanced you review to. to the situation. You, you, the only way you can read it when yeah. you've got black things around you that are reflecting on the yeah. surface is if you kind of move your head until yeah. you see something that's white, and then you can read what everything is. Now, in a gig situation, that's actually you know, really difficult to ironically, do. Ironically, well not ironically, but coincidentally, the, the reason the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe changed their chrome panel to a black panel was precisely that reason. Well, that, it, doesn't, so you, it used to be a chrome panel with black writing. It doesn't surprise me, because if this was mm. on the floor as a combo, yeah. you're sitting, the floor is, in a, every venue yeah. is black, always. So yeah. all you're going to see is black. So you're going a little torch or just a however of course what we all know with marshals is that the, you, there's only one great sound out of a marsh you just turn everything up to 10 well, you know, basically and see, then you don't uh, need to we say that as a joke but that's what I've done exactly yeah. with this amplifier I have I have dialed it in such a way that well I might as well just show you because that's what we're here to do so I've dialed it so that my rhythm um, my rhythm sound is this <laughs> Now, I, I've dialed it in using the two volume controls, and obviously in the middle position now it... Oh, that was really good, wasn't it? <laughs> and, on the floor, I've got an EP booster. cool enough, that's me tapped. Oh wow! I'm in the middle position to give you that kind of throaty Peter Green tone, so I can also do... That sounds sick, doesn't it? It's just ridiculous. So, but that was one sound. Yeah. So the, the amplifier actually is a sort of a, a, a hybrid two-stroke three-channel amplifier. As you, if you haven't already worked out, I'm not even sure you can see this terribly well in the shot. Lean back, Rob, that way. So these are the products we're actually showing <laughs> you. Um, so there's a, they're, they're both the same amplifier. One is the the, the combo is a, a 112 with a Celestian Vintage 30 in it. Uh, oh no, is it a G, or is it a G12M25? It's, I, what, is it I say, what does it say on that whiteboard it's down there? It's a G12M25. <laughs> it's the, um, and then we've got a head version going into a 1960 classic, which actually I think is the, it's got the same, it's got four G12, mm. 25 watt jobs in it. Um, if you would like this to look aesthetically more appealing, there is a Jubilee cab that you can buy uh, to go with this if you want to as well, the Jubilee 412. There is nothing smaller, unfortunately. The, the, the only silver cabinet that Marshall currently do is a 412. Unless I guess you could go to their custom shop and have something done. I'll put a thing in the comment in the description section below and perhaps try and answer my own question. Well, you know what? It's almost worth 25 years of celebration just to listen to the depth of this beautiful combo. Yeah. I mean, it's got some fat, beefy goodness. It's got some. I mean, it, it doesn't sound like a boxy kind of combo. Anyway, well, look. So I've overused the, bit... the word beef now. I can't say it again. I've used it twice. Beef. The bit that I was going to show you. Uh, is oh, and just in case you're wondering, all the beef that you're hearing is coming from beef that we've got through the effects loop. There's no built in beef, 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 beef. beef. Um, so two modes low and high mode, obviously switching between the 25 and the 50 watt mode. It's not doing anything, um, it's not like switching one of the output tubes out or anything like that. It's just simply adjusting the voltage to control the, the sort of the power output. So here is a clean, this is what we're calling the, I don't even know what channel this is called, the rhythm channel, I think. So. so it, oh man, that's really spruce. -y. Yeah, I mean, it will do clean. If you just read a sticker on my thing that says it's a spruce <laughs> center block, I knew that. I was thinking, <laughs> It's really sprucey from. And then I thought, then I actually thought they were. And I was going to say that's about. a sprucey bonus, but it's I, a spruce I held bonus. it back. I held no, it back. I, I need to do it. Keep it in. Tell me it's a sprucey <laughs> bonus. Because what? What do points make? Points make prizes. Was that Bruce? That was, was that definitely Bruce Forsyth. You know, legendary man. The legendary king of the Generation Game and Strictly Come Dancing yeah. and so many other chat shows. Uh, not chat shows. You know, game shows and. Yeah. I bet he's, I bet he's in a secret life of joy, isn't he? Well, he's married to a Miss World, I think. Is he really? Like from, you know, not He did alright then. 
He did all right. Yeah. He did all right. Anyway. You know what? I feel like I'm married to Miss Wild sometimes. Ah, oh, it's very nice. Miss Malta. Your turn, your turn. Okay, and I'm married to Miss Wild as well. Yeah, Miss Guilford. Yeah. Miss Guilford? Yeah, she is. Um, Play the, play the Crikey. So Sorry. anyway, look, so on the on the, the clean channel, uh, I'm guessing kind of people are going to be going, well, that's, you know, that's not very martially, is it? That sort of... That's oh, a, it is. That's a bit more martially. So there is a there is a, a thing called pull for rhythm clip, which essentially clips the rhythm channel. Better check with Rabir that this doesn't go do lally here. Probably oh has God. gone do lally. Rabir? I'm fine. fine. Wow. Wow, that's loud. So what you might want to do, because I don't think you can foot switch that rhythm clip thing, so you'd, you'd have to choose whether you wanted your clean channel sparkly clean or... Oh, it sounds great! Sounds even better um, through my fingers as well. Yeah, and then... What you can do on the foot switch is engage your naughty channel. Sorry above the hum here. Oh! Wow. That's a great combination. I just. I don't want to sound like a gigantic technophobe because I kind of think, I, I sort of, I do, I, I look at Kempers and Helixes and all that kind of stuff and just sort of go, you know, and wireless systems and all sorts of things that are modern and new and go, oh, it's all very clever, isn't it? But, you know, it's like a, a 50 year old guitar cable into a dirty old valve amplifier with you know a guitar what, that was designed. Modern and new is great, ago. but that'll get you laid. True, true. Uh, but I kind of think as well, and, and isn't it odd as well that all these modern products are trying to do is recreate that old sounds yeah. in, well, a, in probably and, and a much more convenient and that, reliable that's, that's way. Exactly that, yeah. That's exactly it. You know, like I'm thinking about playing maybe the show in Germany, yeah. and if I do, of course, we can't take pedal boards. So on an EasyJet flight from Stansted, so you know, well, how are we going to manage that? And then you think, well, what's the modern technology that would provide that service? Yeah, you know, and it would be a USB stick. It would be a and, USB and a stick. Temper on yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, should we change guitars and do yes, some times? Yes, because that's what we said. We Let's would do, do that.
pretty sound, wasn't it? You know what I like about this rig? What? Is it does some of that infinite sustain kind of harmonic beautifulness. <laughs> because pick the middle pickups... It's always a problem for you, isn't Yeah, it? it's where my right, fingers right do my, my thing, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this I was enjoying because it was kind of... It was allowing me to do that kind of... Oh, it, at least if it would if it was switched on, <laughs> that's right. So I'm on the, the, the lead channel at the moment, but I was playing, you know, sort of gradually uh, progressing the amount of gain on that sound. So I was playing just like an arpeggiated... Sort of, And, and as we went through the sort of jam, I was just literally turning up and it was... That until is a until beautiful... eventually, yeah, we were sort of going... So you, need, you know what's also cool days, is that we've both it? chosen blue guitars. Ah, there's nothing wrong with the colour blue. Probably in honour of the wonderful store that is Anderton's. Yeah, that's our kind of corporate colour, isn't it? Um, so, well, not much else to tell you about this amplifier, no. other than they are made in the UK. Whoop, whoop! Come on, Marshall. Um, available right now. Wait, uh, how much are they, I ask, knowing how much they are? Uh, that is about £900, and mm. that is about £800, mm. and then of course you'd need to buy a cab for that. I have a question. Um, mm. Are they limited, special run, edition? I don't think they are, but Ooh. do you know what? I'm not entirely sure. I wouldn't be sure of that either. Um, so, what else have we got? Yes, that's about it really, isn't it? Yes. Um, well, I hope you've really enjoyed this video. If you have, would you mind ever so nicely liking and sharing and subscribing, please? because it really helps us to make more yes. of them. And yes. we also really enjoy the banter below in my hands here, where the banter we is. Bants, we love a bit of bants, don't love we? Love a bit of bant. Also, really excited for the new supergroup coming up with members of Alice in Chains and- I haven't heard about this, tell oh, me. It's called Giraffe something. But now what's gonna happen is in the comment section, people are going to go, Rob, it's giraffe, blah, blah. It's got William Duvall, the singer of Madison and Chains, is singing in it. Right. And, and the guitar player from uh, Mastodon. Wow. And, um, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's going to be sick. It's a proper real oh, so super the, the, Because I, I was watching a video of the Mastodon guy the other day because he's got a new Friedman um, signature amp. Oh, no, am I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm thinking of the right Friedman. Guy. He's got a new Friedman amp. Because I always thought Mastodon were kind of like oranged out to the max, but he was he's, he's done a yeah, Friedman kinda. signature. I didn't know that. Thing. Unless I got that completely me. wrong. In which case, the comment section below will be going, Lee, it's you know fire. nothing about metal and rock and everything like that. You're <laughs> such a... Anything written after 1972, you don't know what you're talking about. Which is largely true. Um, Talking of which, yes. I've been Rob Chapman. And I've been the captain. Bye bye. Bye! Shot, oh. sir. <laughs>
origami <laughs> where you fold a bit of paper <coughs> oh it's a giraffe <laughs> <laughs> Giraffe origami. That's our band. That's <laughs> Giraffe origami. <laughs> <laughs>